Hey, what's up everybody? This is my new mask unwrapping. So I got a Hammerhead MV3 Amber with the GoPro mount. Never used their mask before, thought I'd give it a shot. Something a little bit better than the mask that I'm currently using. Let's see what it looks like. Comes with all kind of brochures. And here's the mask. Uh, definitely lower volume than the current one that I have. I haven't used a low volume with a Go GoPro mount. Uh, all my other masks are low volume. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to prepare the lens. So some people burn. Um, I'm going to use toothpaste. And don't scrub too hard, just lightly. And this is to take off the manufacturer's film on it. And you're going to do this a couple times, rinse it out. That, that's all there is to it. Real light. Don't push too hard so you don't scratch the, scratch the lens. So this is going to be kind of boring. So I'm going to skip ahead. So I did it three times. And I take a wet paper towel and try to get in the edges. So there's no other a toothpaste left in it. Um, it's, gonna be kind of hard to get it all out but be sure you get it in the edges right where the glass the lens meets the rubber good to go so now I'm gonna add my normal anti-fog and for that I use baby shampoo So here's my Johnson's baby shampoo. Just put a little dab there. Should be good to go. I'm gonna let it dry and give it a shot. The crazy thing is the my mask that was leaking the other time actually stopped leaking. Who knows why? Gonna mount the GoPro and see what it's like in the water. Well, here it is all mounted up. I'm gonna take it to the ocean, give it a shot. Looks pretty looks pretty cool. The balance is is really interesting because uh, the mask is so um so thin so I'll give you my overall opinion of the the mask uh, I put my GoPro inside the mask and held it underwater uh, so this is not exactly what it looks like but you do see that um, there is this yellowish amberish tint and I'm not sure whether I like this that the tint bothers me depending on the angle of the sun. So if the sun is shining um, through the water toward me, it's really difficult to see in my opinion. But my eyes are really bad, so I don't know if it's just me. Um, otherwise, uh, I, I can see pretty well. Um, the construction of the mask is excellent. Uh, the low volume is much better than my old mask, um, but there is a, a big price difference. I ordered the Hammerhead MV3 from Amazon. I ended up paying um, $120.97 after tax and it was free shipping from Prime. My original mask was an experiment that I also bought from Amazon and that was only about $13. So 
I'm really not sure whether uh, it's worth the almost nine times the or almost ten times the price. Uh, it does feel a lot better. Um, I think I would like this better if it didn't have the tint. For me, I would give this because of the quality of the mask and how good it feels. Um, I'd give it a B minus and. It, it, that's just because I'm not a big fan of the tint. And the other thing um, I didn't like is um, my twelve dollar mask, uh, my thirteen dollar mask came with a hard case, and this one hundred twenty dollar and ninety seven cent mask just came in a bag, and that was kind of um, kind of a bummer. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and aloha.